once those are out, grab a little suction cup. Um, the bigger the suction cup, the better. And then uh, you just have to pry off the bottom of the screen. In hindsight, I probably should use a plastic tool, uh, so keep that in mind. There's a ribbon cables up along the top, so be very careful when you're pulling it away, because if you damage those ribbon cables, especially on your new screen, then you'll have some problems. There's three little screws right here that you have to take out to unplug the ribbon cables from the phone. And I'll show you those. This little bracket comes right off as soon as you get the three screws undone. Doing the iPhone 5 screen is much easier than doing the iPhone 4 or 4S screens. To replace the screen you have to do undo about 30 screws. little bracket just slid right off and then as far as the, uh, the flex cables go um, you just pop them off with a flat tool they're just like little snaps kind of like Legos so there's two of them right there and then the third one's underneath and that releases the screen so take the get rid of your old screen and put your new screen on just grabbing each little flex cable just like you would with the Lego and just placing them down into place and snapping them in Once I got them all placed down, I just used my finger to just give them one little more push just to make sure they're all connected. Keep in mind that these screws are also different sizes. The two bottom screws are the same size, but the top screw is a little bit longer. I'm going to speed this up a little bit just because the screws were hard to get into place. There we go. When you're putting the top back on, make sure you uh, slide the top in first, and then you can take the phone down the sides and clip it all into place. After you're done and it's all back in place, you can put the bottom two star screws in.